Hello and welcome to another TV licensing video on doing stuff and filming it. Today is an exciting day. I've had another letter and this one's a bit different. Okay, here we go with this one. Now, I do promise this is different to all the other ones. Now, from your point of view, the audience point of view, I've had a bit of a catch up on my TV licensing letters released I don't know, half a dozen yesterday. This one arrived as I was uploading all of yesterday's videos. And um, yeah, it is it is different. It's one we haven't seen before. So let's have a look at it. So at the front, it doesn't look any different. I was like, oh, another bloody letter. Uh, you know, your legal occupier at my address. You've got the, the numbers and the QR codes. Overleaf, we've got the usual crap, Darlington return address, sustainably sourced paper that didn't need to be sent to me. Inside, though, is where it gets excited. As always, I've skimmed this so that I can scribble out my address and identifying information, but other than that, I haven't properly read it. So, top bits. We've already covered, legal occupier, my address. Got the reference number here, also scribbled out. This is dated 14th of December 2023. So this has taken a long time to arrive, but yeah, whatever. Let's have a, we'll go through this in some detail because this is, uh, we haven't seen this one before, or if we have, I've completely forgotten about it. But no, we have, there are changes to it. Anyway, local investigation active in your area. I doubt that, really, but whatever. As there is no record of a TV license at your address, we have authorised an enforcement visit fairly standard threat from them you know they say words to that effect in pretty much all of their all of their letters it is a criminal offense to watch or record live tv programs on any channel or device or download or watch bbc programs on iplayer without being covered by a tv license yep standard stuff this could result in prosecution and yeah in scotland criminal law applies yep scottish criminal law and a fine of up to a thousand pounds it's never that much lie of omission again plus any legal costs and or compensation you may be ordered to pay now this is something which i've seen before but they've been leaving out of their letters recently maybe they've decided to throw it back in last year we visited an address every 10 seconds and i bet that guy is properly pissed off with you officers were in all parts of the country including your area no you fucking weren't Every day they knocked on around 5,000 doors, weekdays, evenings and weekends. Uh, yeah, of course they were. How to stop a visit in your area. Um, buy a TV licence, move an existing licence to your current address, uh, or tell us you don't need one. For help with any of the above, don't call the number. Uh, visit our website for more information. The website is just more of this, just more walking the line of the truth. And, of course, that is just a sales line. They'll do their best to get you to buy one. If you do not do any of the above, you can expect a visit soon. <laughs> yeah, they, they always have to get that little bit of a threat in at the end, don't they? Fucking cunts. Right. This bit, though, yours faithfully, Ross McTaggart, Customer Service Director. What happened to Scott Robson? I want Scott Robson back. Where where the hell is Scott Robson? I mean, have you sacked him? Do, were these letters not working? Has you know, has Ross had to come up with some different letters, which are almost the same as the old ones? Or I don't know. Maybe he died. Maybe he was working so hard to being the bullshit letter director for the whole country. It seemed that yeah, he dropped dead. TV licensing has killed Scott Robson. Scott Robson's blood is on your hands. TV licensing. I hope you're proud of yourselves. <laughs> I make myself laugh. All right, flip it over, and this bit's changed as well. Um, it's much the same information, but there is a couple of bits. Um, this is, seems to have been simplified at the top. In fact, the whole thing seems to have been simplified front and back, which I'll talk about in a minute. But yeah, go online to pay, update, and check. I'm not going to do any of those. Uh, when do you need a TV license? The word in subtle in here. You need to be covered by a TV license to do any of the following. Watch or record TV programs live on any channel. Stream programs live via an online TV service. So now I work in the telecommunications, your broadband, TV, all that sort of thing. 
and the next generation TV won't have an aerial. It will be entirely streamed through your broadband. Um, similar to your Amazon Fire Sticks, Google Chrome, um, all those sorts of things. So they've included that stream programs via an online TV service because that's all there's going to be going forwards. You can scrap the aerials on your roof, you're not going to need them. It's all going to be through your broadband in the next 10 years probably. Um, and then the usual download watch BBC programs on iPlayer. So that's good that they've included that because it, they are keeping up to date with it. Because I have had people ask me, you know, what about streaming? Do I need a TV license for this? It's like, well, if it's as it's been broadcast, then yes, you do. Um, but I think a lot of people still think of live TV as you need an aerial. You know, there has to be a signal. But, you no, know, it can be streamed and still be live. It's not necessarily on demand. So, um, But I also wonder if they've started including that because... The TV license is here to stay, and perhaps the legislation is just going to be updated to include things like Fire Sticks and Roku's and all that sort of thing. Anyway, you know, I thought I'd point that bit out. I don't think I've seen that in there before. This applies to any device you use. They've actually stopped banging on about VHS recorders. Oh, okay. What if you don't need a license? We'd like to stop writing to you. No, you fucking wouldn't. Um, or anyone else living at this address. Uh, yeah, we'd like to stop writing to you. If you or anyone else living at the address are not watching, recording, or streaming any live TV, so please let us know at that. You can do that. It seems to stop the letters for a short time, but then they just start up again. I've told them enough times. I'm not repeating myself. Could you get a concession if you're blind, severely sight impaired, age 75 or over, and receiving pension credit, you may qualify for a concession. Uh, if you have sight problems, you get this by email or in braille, large print audio, by calling the number that you should never call. And, yeah, oh yeah they do the same for deaf, hard of hearing and speech impaired. And you can also get your correspondence in Welsh as well. So that's about it. Now... The individual paragraphs on this are things we've we've seen before. Like it is a criminal offence, blah 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 blah. Seen that plenty of times. As there's no record of a TV license, and of course they like to get the threat. And if you don't do any of the above, we're going to come and kill you. All that sort of thing. It's all fairly standard, but I have to say this is a much more transparent letter. Well, actually, no, transparent's the wrong word. There's nothing transparent about them. They're still murky and evil and trying to get money out of you but this is a lot simpler it's just plain black text on a white piece of paper there's no like red lettering or boxes and jazz on it and it's it's more to the point as well it just it just says you don't have one we may be coming to visit you they're definitely not but you know whatever and the back bit especially remember the old letters this was filled top to bottom and it had so much information i think my first ever tv licensing video went through everything word for word it took forever but they have certainly simplified this down which i have to say i kind of applaud them for because you know like this bit this applies to any device you use that's all that needs to be said they didn't need to be banging on about vhs recorders dvd players fucking smoke signals all that jazz just say any device you use. And I've said time and time again, I think I've said it in just about every video I've ever made on these letters, these people target the vulnerable. You know, it's only the, the vulnerable that would that would fall for something like this. And simplifying it in this way helps them. So, yeah, maybe they've listened. Maybe they've... <laughs> maybe their message has finally got through that they need to knock it off. We'll have to see. See what next month's letter brings. Yeah, that'd be good. I don't think they have changed. I think next month will be just the same old shite. But yeah, interesting as a new type of letter. And I have to say, it's it's not as bad as some of the ones I've had from them. I mean, it's still pretty, you know, it's still threatening. We've authorised a visit. If you don't do as we tell you, we're going to batter you. Blah, 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 blah. But I'd say it's a step in the right direction. It's a small step in the right direction. But it is getting there. Also, what's happened to Scott Robson? They, I think they've killed him. 
I think they have worked him to death and you know, the, the great Soviet TV licensing union or whatever they're fucking called decided that you know he had failed and TV licensing does not tolerate failure so they've had him shot. So yeah, that's my head cannon. that's what they've done. Right, well, as always... The, oh, wait, I just realised... Oh, fuck! I don't have a line to write below. I always used to say, do not write below this line. I'd... They've been watching my videos, haven't they? They're taking it out, so... Uh... Well, that's it, I'm going to have to stop now. Fucking hell, I'm going to have to just stop. <sighs> this is probably the last ever TV licensing video that I can't make anymore now, they've ruined it. Oh. Just kidding, I'm never going to stop. I suppose if I can't write below the line, I'll just make up other silly shit to do. <laughs> to write. Oh, I think we'll have a, We'll start with this Ross McTaggart, who definitely doesn't exist. Let's go with Ross McTaggart. Is a bellend. <laughs> right. I need to go think up a way of destroying this now for your amusement, don't I? Now, a few people, or maybe it was just one, I don't really recall, but I'm sure somebody said it in the comments that all these letters are for is free toilet paper. I haven't really tried them as toilet paper until now. I do kind of really need a shit, so it seems only fitting that we use Ross McTaggart's debut letter for the purpose. You're just going to have to trust me on this one, I'm not filming myself having a shit. Well, I can confirm TV licensing letters can be used as toilet paper, but as with the smoothie and the strange things from Across the Pond episode, you really shouldn't. There are better ways of doing it. Now, now my ass hurts as well as my guts. Oh, fucking hell. Thank you for watching this video on doing stuff and filming it. Please don't forget to press the big button here in the middle to subscribe if you haven't already done so. If you liked what you just saw, please click the like button below and leave a comment letting me know what you liked about it. And as always, Thank you for watching.